more had Biden, had the administration not taken public lands away from us. So 26% of our land mass suddenly is unavailable to us. And about 35% of the productive capacity, some of that's the best stuff that, you know, we ought to be drilling today, but that was taken off table. So that drove inflation as well, because we didn't have enough supply. And it takes a while to adjust. You know, here's your drilling plans with an oil company. Here's, here's your drilling plan for the budget year. And all of a sudden, all your federal leases are, are wiped off. So what are you going to do? You have to adjust. Well, that takes six months to a year to adjust. So that slows everything down. So that, that hurt inflation. Then let's look at another aspect of what went on. So we get to where we're you know, run short of uh, production and U.S. he, he believes and, and gasoline prices go up and fuel prices and everything. And what does, what does the administration do? He wants more oil. He wants more oil produced. So who does he call? Does he call, uh, you know, the CEO of Chevron? Uh, does he call Mike Worth with, uh, uh, with Chevron and ask him or Exxon uh, to produce more? Or, or does he call Harold Hamm, Oklahoma City with Continental, say, look, we need some more production. Uh, you know, what can you do? Uh, no. He calls Maduro in Venezuela. They, they're venting or flaring 60% of the natural gas that they from production. That goes up in the air. That's not clean production. That's not helping anybody. But that's, that's what he insisted they do. He goes to Maduro. He goes to Saudi Arabia and asks them to bring on production. Kuwait, uh, you know, OPEC. Is that cleaner production than we have in America? No. So, I mean, that's something, some of the things that we're dealing with. 